today hopefully will be real quick. I want to show how to set up the grid using Photopea and it's uh, free software so uh, you don't have to go uh, subscribe to Photoshop. If you can subscribe to Photoshop, that's fantastic. I actually already have a video um, on my channel that you can follow along and uh, it'll walk you through those steps. But just in case you don't have Photoshop, uh, you can use Photopea. Uh, hopefully it's similar. I have actually haven't tried this out. So uh, let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm gonna go to new project. It's a little slow here. Um, up here at the top, um, you can say you can see it says new project. I can name it. Um, I'm gonna call it the grid. And I'm gonna change pixels to inches. And I'm going to change my width to five and my height to seven. And uh, the DPI, the dots per inch, uh, that resolution is pretty low right now at 72. I'm gonna bump that up a little bit here to maybe uh, 250. 150 is still not like a really high resolution, um, but for this, it'll, it'll be okay, I think. Uh, normally I would work at 300 though, if I was doing something in Photoshop, like a, like a digital painting or something like that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click create. All right, so I have my workspace here and it's five by seven. The next step is I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to go ahead and search the person I'm going to grid. Now, based on the comments I got uh, recently about who I should draw next, uh, it seems like Taylor Swift actually is uh, the winner. Um, there were other suggestions, and I thank you for those. Uh, they were not school appropriate, uh, but I did laugh a little bit at them. So those of you that did submit suggestions, um, at least it, it, it provided some entertainment uh, during this time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and search Taylor Swift. Now, I was just talking about being school appropriate and I'm hoping Taylor Swift is uh, going to be, oh wow, I spelled Taylor Swift wrong, that's amazing. There you go. Uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click on images. Now, one of the things that when we were drawing a uh, famous celebrity, and um, if you do draw a cele famous celebrity, you do want to make sure that if you do eventually use this image for anything, that there's um, uh, any copyrights with the image that you're using. Because obviously a lot of these images that we're pulling directly off Google Images are taken by professional photographers. So they're going to want credit for their work and um, you want to make sure that you are either giving them credit or that you also have a uh, permission to use their photos be the image i'm going to come back to photopea and go to edit and paste all right so now what we can see is that this image is pretty big but this works out really well because i just want to do a portrait of taylor swift i don't want to draw all that background area so if i want to make it bigger or smaller let's say that when you drag the image in and the image is really small or really big you can zoom in or zoom out by hitting Command plus or Command minus, and you can transform your image by hitting Control T. And you can see here, I have these little brackets here. That is because I hit, well, I hit Command T on my key, keyboard, but if you hit Control T, if you're on a PC, that should work. And uh, then you're just gonna drag on the corners. Now you're gonna hold the Shift key while you drag to make sure 
that you constrain the proportions. And what does that mean, constrain proportions? That means that you are actually keeping everything the same size as you make it bigger or smaller. If, I, if you don't constrain proportions, you could end up with an image that is very distorted, like really skinny or just really um, stretched out. All right, so this looks uh, pretty good as far as the image. We know it's five by seven inches. And we also know that the resolution is 150. The first thing you're going to want to do is hit Control A to create a selection. You can see right here under Select. And then you're gonna to go to Edit, Stroke. And I'm gonna make this a little smaller. I'm gonna change my color up. I do a blue. Click OK. Inside, Normal, OK. All right, so it created a nice border right here. Now that's probably a little too big, so probably want to make it one pixel versus what I use, which was like, what, three or four pixels. The next step is you want to define this actually as a pattern so you can use it. So you're going to go to Edit, Define, New, Pattern. It says Pattern has been added. Okay, so now the next step is to figure out where that pattern went. But I'm going to go back to our original image. And you can see up here at the top, I'm moving the cursor around. Uh, you can see that this is our current image. If I click on the other um, tab, it takes us back to the Twiller Swift image. Now in Photoshop, this is where we would go to the Paint Bucket tool. And the Paint Bucket tool gives us the op option to do a pattern fill up here at the top. I do not see that in Photopea. So... Now, the question is, where in Photopea is the pattern fill? So let's go here. Let's see, layer new. Let's see, layer fill. There's a pattern fill. What is that? Hmm, that's different. I don't think that's what I wanted. That's it. All right. Uh, so it is there um, under pattern fill and um, check that out. We actually have a grid on Taylor Swift. Now what I can do is I can save this. So I go to file and I'm going to go to export as, and I can export as a PNG if I wanna preserve a lot of information and keep it a higher resolution. Uh, JPEG is the easiest way to like text it or email it to yourself. Um, definitely a low, lower resolution. I'm just going to go ahead and save this as a JPEG. And I'm going to go ahead and just click save. And that is going to save right down here at the bottom of my page. You can see it says show in finder. Obviously, you can save it um, to your documents or to your recents also, and uh, you'll be able to find your work. But this is a basic way to set up a grid. Now, you could eventually print this or work directly from your device, whether it be a computer, laptop, a phone, um, a tablet. Any of those things work um, as long as you have something to set up. I tend to print stuff out just because I'm a little old school. Uh, with working with portraits, uh, but it's really up to you at this point. My next step is to grid some paper, draw Taylor Swift, and have fun. <laughs>